Okay, we're back for pack two. And here we've opened a mass polymorph. Not too good. Mass polymorph doesn't really do anything. It basically kills all your guys and then you flip new guys off the top of your deck and you don't know if you're gonna get it what you're gonna get basically. So no ignore that. Another pack leader, lightning bolt. Um for us we have two good flyers, uh, Cloud Elemental and Azure Drake. I am going to take the Azure Drake. It's a little better. It's gotta be good too. They're both two power flyers. Azure Drake can block more stuff. He can block basically all the other good flyers in the format with his four toughness. It's one he he blocks Cloud Crusader, Assault Griffin, Cloud Elemental. Whoops. That was a video from pack one popping up there. Okay, I'm gonna grab Azure Drake. There's a Mana Leak. Uh Merfolk Sovereign's not gonna do it. Armor Dissension is interesting. Question is how many planes are we gonna have in this deck? Really only see like three or four white cards I wanna play. It's really powerful though. It just kills people. I think we can miss out on a mana leak. Nothing else too exciting. Here yeah, I'll take armor dissension. Wall of Frost. Squadron Hawk. This really gets better when you have more. I don't think I want to take it here though. A 1 1 fire for 2 is not too good. When you get more out of your deck, you can, when you play Squadron Hawk, you can get all the other Squadron Hawks out of your deck and put them in your hands. If you have a bunch of them, they're good, but it's hard to get a bunch of a card in a draft. Take Wall of Frost. It's kind of like Palace Guard, does a lot of good blocking. There's a 4C. Like I said before, we'll probably find some draw spells later. Um, Assault Griffin as well. Both of these are good cards. I think I'd rather have 4C. So we have three flyers already. We have no card draw. <laughs> we only have one. So yeah, we have a lot of creatures. You want to have a few non-creatures as well. You take this 4C. Scry 4 lets you, late in the game, you draw this, you put those lands on the bottom, and then you draw into good stuff. And if you're stuck on uh, 4 land, then you can make sure you hit those lands. You can cast your bigger spells. So this is definitely the card we want here. Okay, let's take a quick uh, look here at Mana Curve. We've got one, two, three, four cards at four, just two cards at three. M11 is famous for not having good three drops, so we probably want to prioritize three mana spells. Um, we got three, I don't want to play Phantom Beast, so I'm ignoring that. Armor Ascension, Azure Drake, 4C, three at four. Oh, and Water Servants, that's four, and then the two Air Servants at five. So we're looking pretty good on Curve right now. And just so happens we got two playable three mana cards here. Uh, cancel, three mana counter something. Catches everything, it's not bad. Uh, I take Scroll Thief though. Uh, cancel usually goes late. People prefer mana leak and negate to it, so we'll probably get another shot at a cancel. Scroll Thief is a good card, 1 3. Not too exciting, but if you can get it in there, you draw a card, put Armored Ascension on this, it's pretty sick. Um. And how about another 3 drop? We've got a Cloud Elemental here. 2-3 can only block creatures with flying, but it's okay. It's a good blocker, can attack with it. We have a very nice blue-white control deck. Uh, people who've known me for a while know that this is pretty much my favorite deck to draft, so there's a Cloud Elemental for us. And here we have, I don't definitely don't want more Tireless Missionaries. I guess I can take this Augury Owl. Probably more likely to play that than the Silver Coat Lion that we have here. The Silver Coat Lion is better for like aggressive starts. Yagri Owl is going to help us hit our land drops. Uh, it's a little again more of a controlly creature. One one flyer with the Scry ability. Scry is really good in this core set, by the way. And there is a Mana Leak. And uh, okay, I'm going to point out a couple cards we don't want to be playing here. Tome Scour. People, for some reason, especially in in Fitzif, get enamored with milling people, and I don't know why. It's not a good strategy. It doesn't work very often. You need to get a lot of Tome Scours, and probably like a Traumatize, which is a rare that mills half of their deck. So you're only milling them five cards here. Added, they have a 40 card deck. You don't want to be playing like a random Tome Scour, um, something like that. Same, also Kraken's Eye. People like I mentioned this in part one that before we started this draft, people want to gain a life. 
it's not not too exciting. It doesn't uh, deal with any of your opponent's threats. I'm watching my time here, still have a minute. Um, Call to Mind is okay. We don't have a lot of instants or sorceries, though. Um, Mighty Leap. If, like, if we had that Overwhelming Stampede, I would actually want Call to Mind in our deck. If we were playing that, like a green-blue or something, but I'm going to take Mana Leak. I'm actually glad we ended up not doing that, because you can see like the green cards in this pack have been pretty bad. Okay, Cloud Elemental, Scroll Thief, Unsummon. Inspired Charge again. Probably not going to play Inspired Charge in our deck. We're not looking to beat people's face in uh, like like this. Like Usually you just play a bunch of guys the first three turns and then attack and play Inspired Charge and hope to kill them. It's It can work, but it's definitely not my kind of deck. Um, Got to draw really well. <laughs> okay, as you said. Uh, Unsummon's not bad. It doesn't actually offer you any card advantage, though. Not really. I'd much rather be playing Aether Adapt, which we haven't seen yet, which is a 2-2 two, two for 3, that when you play it, it returns a creature to its owner's hand. So then you get that effect on a creature. It's much more valuable than just doing that. I'm going to take the Cloud Elemental. I don't think we have a lot of ways to make Scroll Thief unblockable. Um, Mighty Leap and Armored Ascension. Yeah, let's go with the Cloud Elemental. I think it's a safer pick. Um, this is awful. <laughs> Triad's Favor, Insight, Ritual, those are all useless. Viserys here is not the worst card ever. Excuse the vacuum. Mountain's vacuuming in the background here. Uh, Holy Strength, I'm going to take. I'm not going to play it, but if somebody plays things like Phantom Beast against us that need to be targeted by something, we can just like Holy Strength to, to kill it. It's kind of like a pseudo removal spell. It's good against a, a card called Ice Cage as well. Um... So I'm going to take this Tome Scour, but I'm not going to play it. I'm just going to do this to hose whoever might be trying to collect all the Tome Scours. So there's nothing for us here. Um, since we have Armored Ascension, that's our only enchantment. No pa we might get a Pacifism, pack 3. Yeah, I'm going to take Back to Nature. just so. At this point, we're just taking cards so no one else can have the cards. Like cards that might be good against us, because there's nothing we're going to play in these last few picks here. Uh, Autumn's Veil, vale, we're going to take that, because it would let people like stop at counter spells or something. Um, and there's that insight again. And how about a forest? Uh, I'm gonna let's see. 